I'm Dave Henry. You're in my shop and I'm glad you're here. Birdmouth joinery is an easy kind of edge joinery that permits the construction of a variety of multi-sided shapes uh, such as these I'm showing here. Six-sided, eight-sided, twelve-sided, and sixteen-sided. Specific router bits are used to cut the joints that give each of these shapes. Here is a close-up of a set of router bits that cut all four shapes. These are from Yonico, but there are other suppliers such as Lee Valley or Amazon. Interestingly, the same bit, the one in the center, is used for both six and twelve-sided shapes. As examples, here are two demo pieces made from exactly the same stock and the same bit. How does this work? How do you get two sizes and shapes from one bit? The 8 and 16 side bits produce only the one designated size. A number of viewers of my earlier videos have asked about this, and hopefully this video will explain. What I will do is simply cut a 6-sided and a 12-sided stave from 3 quarter inch stock and then compare the differences to show how the dual use of the bit works. This demo will also point out why all 612 dual bits are not the same. Okay, I've mounted the bit in the router table with height and depth adjustments for a six-sided figure. As I said, we're using three-quarter inch stock for the demo. It's poplar wood. Uh, I'm doing the cut in two steps because we're removing a lot of wood. Here, I'm moving the fence to the final cut position. Notice that it is the upper edge of the stave that continues to contact the fence after going through the cutter. There's a better view of the bit and stave after the final cut. And there's how the next stave fits. Now for a 12-side stave. I've reset the router height and depth. We're removing less wood with this cut and are going for the final cut on the first pass. Notice two things here. Now the bottom edge of the stave remains in contact with the fence after passing through the cutter. And the upper edge of the stave is unsupported and is emerging as a sharp and feathered edge and will clearly require a cleanup by sanding. Here's a cleaner view. There's the fit to the next stave. Okay, let's directly compare settings for the 6 and the 12 cuts. The depth of cut from here to here in the 6 cut is quite a bit. It's from here to here, uh, whereas in the 12 setting the depth of cut is only from here to here, uh, much less. Uh, the second thing to look at is the height of the bit. For the six settings, the height of the bit is just a little bit less than half of the thickness of the stave. For the 12 cuts, the height of the bit is from here all the way up to here. It almost reaches the upper surface uh, of the stave. And as you can see, that results in a much smaller, small face for the V groove. Uh, and of course, as you may have already noticed, uh, these settings result in reversing the position of the uh, wide face of the V groove. It is up here for the six settings, and it is down here on the bottom uh, for the 12 settings. If we tape a second stave in place uh, for each of our test staves, what has changed becomes even clearer. The wide face of any BMJ cut, that's uh, this one uh, for the six cut and this one for the 12 cut, uh, 
receives the square edge of the next stave, so the result here is an angle change in the way the two staves fit. In the 6 case, the second stave angles downward. In the 12 case, it angles upward. But in the 12 case, this angle is less than it is with the 6 case. And here is what happens when we make enough staves to complete the shapes. We get the expected number of sides. While those details are still fresh in your mind, here is a comparison between the uh, Yonico uh, 612 bit that we just used in the demonstration with another 612 bit that I've been using in my shop for several years entirely successfully, but only for six sided projects. Um, here is a close up of these two bits as well as the demo I just did. These are both useful dual bits, so why don't I use the small one for 12-sided projects? Well, the smaller one has a significant limitation for 12-sided projects when compared to the Yonico. The problem is the short lower cutting edge of the small bit. Uh, otherwise, the two bits are essentially the same. The limitation comes from the fact that this lower cutting edge cuts the wide face here of the v-groove that receives the square edge of the next stave. This edge is about one half inch on the small bit, while the Yonico has a length of one and one eighth inches. That means that this bit can only be used for stock one half inch or less thick if you want maximum overlap and glue joint strength. Put another way, the lower cutting edge must be as long as your stock is thick. This means the Onico bit will work with stock up to 1 and 1 8 inches thick for 12-sided applications. This small bit would not have worked for the demo that I just gave because it was done with 3 quarter inch stock. Using the same thinking uh, with uh, six-sided applications, both bits are limited to three-quarter inch thick stock. That is because the upper edge of the uh, bit cuts the wide face of the V-groove in six-side mode. And both bits have an upper cutting edge length of three-quarter of an inch. Up until now, I've avoided giving any specific settings for height and depth, hoping to make the principles uh, as clear as possible. However, in the following three charts, I have now provided specific settings uh, that can be used as the starting point for cutting 6 and 12 sided BMJ joints uh, and in several common stock thicknesses. Dimensions are given in both inches and millimeters. Keep in mind that the settings are proportional to the stock thickness, and settings not given are easily calculated. Use of a Yonico bit is arbitrary. Uh, many other bits could no doubt be used. This table is in fractional inches. This one is in decimal inches. And here is the millimeter table. As I've always emphasized, however, use test cuts with spare stock to reach final settings. Predetermined settings, such as those I've now given, uh, are a good place to start, but don't rely on them until you have done some test cuts with your stock and your router table setup and know that the results are what you want. Thanks for watching.